Okay, here we are with the experimental video that'll bring on all the hate comments, I'm sure. Um, this is the 84 SVO Turbo Mustang 4-cylinder 2.3 engine block. I got it primed because I want to paint it. And I noticed that when I took the head off, the surface was pretty crappy looking. Um, the cylinder head had been resurfaced, but the block, definitely not. Um, so what I'm doing is um, resurfacing it myself, basically. Um, I saw a video where a guy took some of this like uh, compressed shelving board, so I got some of that. I saw another one where he took some glass, but I was afraid I'd break it and shatter and gash my hand or something. But uh, so I decided to go with the board. Um, it's I cut a piece of it off. I got this like four foot or I don't know it's probably three foot something like that I don't know uh, piece and I cut it to a comfortable width that I could grip and uh, use to slide it back and forth and then I put the 80 grit sandpaper some uh, 3m sandpaper there and then uh, to assist in the sanding because uh, this is cast iron I noticed a lot of the videos people are doing aluminum and um, yeah, that goes fast, that's easy. But cast iron is a lot harder material. And uh, so I'm using the old battery here and um, gravity to uh, assist in getting this process going. Um, I don't know if we can see this. I hope the camera can pick this up. But you can see there's like pitted areas around the water jackets. And then you can see like these low areas, the original surfacing was really coarse so i'm not really sure if i might need to go over it with something rough to actually get the right texture to make it seal properly um, but yeah so here i'll just show kind of quickly me in action i guess so i'm just grabbing this board i i've wrapped the um this is a one by eight and so when you take the eight by eleven sheet you can turn it long ways and um, wrap it over is what I did and then put the battery on it to hold it and then just I'm not pushing down on the board I'm just pushing it away and pulling it back and forth over and over and be careful not to go too far past the edge and drop the battery that's definitely no good so just going back and forth nice even motions after a while you notice that it's not taking off much material um, it works slow just because this is cast iron, not aluminum, of course. But uh, after a while, the sandpaper seems to kind of lose its coarseness and doesn't take down the material as fast. So you can switch to another piece of paper. This was a four pack, so I'm sure that's plenty. But yeah, as you go along, oh, you'll notice. See, it's, it's creating this really fine metal dust. So I'm gonna have to clean that up. But um, yeah, I'm sure people are gonna say, why the heck didn't you put something in the cylinder? I'm, I'm just gonna kind of clean it out and then oil it up and yeah, I think it'll be okay. But yeah, that's, you can see areas where it's now nice and smooth, but you can also see all the low spots Sorry if the lighting is bad, but there's definitely, right here, it's definitely a low spot. And it's right next to the water passage, so that's no good. Water can seep right into the cylinder, so that's why you need to get this flat so that you can get it sealed properly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep going at it, and uh, hopefully I will have um, a nice flat, even surface to come back and show you in a little bit. Alright, so I've noticed that... Uh, the sandpaper isn't cutting as much as it was so I'm gonna switch out the piece of paper and um, give you an idea of how I'm doing this it's not exactly the recommended technique in general um, yeah it's something to try to save time and money um, yeah that's pretty much it 
Plus I get the satisfaction of seeing I did it myself. Well, assuming it didn't leak when I'm done. But, so I just tuck it under there, try to make it kind of tight. Do the same on the other side. Okay. All right, now I should feel it cutting on a bit more. Oh yeah. Right away I can tell the difference. If I actually, this sandpaper doesn't look used up much, but you can just tell the, the, the area that's been rubbing on the metal is all, is much smoother. So, yeah, with cast iron, it's tough stuff, so. Yeah, I'm sure there's an argument that, uh, you know, buying these materials, I spent 10 whole dollars on sandpaper on this board. Uh, sure, people would say, hey, just get it done right. And uh, take it to a machine shop. But, um, well, the machine shop I usually go to just has cylinder heads and flywheels. They don't even touch engine blocks. They didn't want to do it. And all the other machine shops seem really expensive. And just to do a flywheel, they want like 65 bucks. So I don't know how much they're gonna want to do this. At least that much, probably more, 80, 100 maybe. So I think I'm saving money. Oh yeah, I can definitely tell that it's cutting down more material. If you just watch the surface, all the low spots and see how they slowly disappear. You can see how fast the sandpaper is working when it seems like it's not changing much. Probably time to change the sandpaper. Actually, I didn't even spend 10 bucks. I think the shelving board was like a Rubbermaid piece. It was 377. Sandpaper is like four seventy nine for the four pack, so pretty cheap. All right, here we are after spending what seems like a solid hour resurfacing. Uh, looks pretty good. Still got a little bit of some low spots. Pretty minimal. Don't think it's enough to hurt anything at this point. Only slight signs of pitting around the water passages. So, uh, I think we're good to go. Oh, and another thing too that I noticed, once your sandpaper wears out, it actually gets to the point where it's polishing, sorry for shaking the camera so much, it's polishing the uh, surface, which is, um, I don't believe is good. Um, they, the machine shops put a, a texture on here deliberately. Um, they machine it, of course, to make it flat, but also to get the right texture to make the head gasket seal. Um, that's why I was mentioning the original texture on here is pretty coarse. So I, I saw another video where it was talking about uh, sanding this down to like super smooth thousand grit or something, which I don't think actually would be beneficial. Um, yeah, I, I got it at 80 and it feels pretty smooth. It's actually, I'm worried it's a little too smooth. So anyways, um, yeah, you don't need to go super fine grit. That's probably, if anything, gonna cause your head gasket to be more likely to leak. Okay, one last thing. Definitely make sure you check it with the straight edge. Um, this is not a real straight edge. I can't find mine at the moment. I'll have to search around. Um, but yeah, you gotta measure the gap between the block and the straight edge surface crisscross straight across and uh, make sure that you have a nice even surface double check it that way make sure that um, this is actually going to seal and um, I think now that's about it well next I'm going to clean it maybe I'll show you guys that too I don't know how much purpose that'll help but probably just going to blast it with brake cleaner flip it upside down on the engine stand here I'm gonna 
lube it up with some oil after this. Stripped all the oil off of there, off the cylinders. Which is dangerous, do this at your own risk, of course. This is just for entertainment, really. Some of the stupid stuff that I attempt to do. 